you know, back in 2020, um, I happened to just be out riding around one day on my own, seeing a bunch of people, you know, kind of pulled up with them, started riding and talking to them because I seen them around. And they were just like, hey, we're out for a cruise and want to join. I was like, all right, yeah, I'm not doing anything else. So essentially we just started like bike riding on Sundays accidentally uh, a little bit over six years ago. We were doing some bike rides and nobody was really doing a bike ride on Sunday. And so I figured, you know what, Sunday's the day. Let's just start grabbing Sundays. So I figured, you know, not to leave the church people out or anything. I was like, well, let's just meet at 12 o'clock because church gets out at 12 and then we're going to ride at one o'clock. That way it's more of like a, everybody can fit in. And I never really looked back. You know, there's yeah certain parts of the city that, you know, I wouldn't take my kids, just the three of us riding, you know, but of course, you know, yeah, for a group of like 150 people, you know, okay, cool, you know, it's, it's fun, you know, and a good way to kind of just see the city a little bit differently. You know, you come across things that, you know, you don't even realize that are there and you're just driving around. We have a lot of bike and pedestrian safety issues in, in the city of Stockton. And, um, a lot of it, I think, comes from just the sheer like lack of infrastructure that we have. It is viewed as a nuisance. I can see that, you know, when you're in a car and, you know, you're, especially when it's a green light and then, you know, you got these hundreds of people going here like, you know, I need to get through here, I need to go by. It's, you know, it, yeah, it comes with its good and it's bad, but it's it does promote a lot more good. I see the next door groups, I see the Facebook groups. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm just glad to see people on bikes at the end of the day. I go out of my way when I see somebody with a pissed off look on their face or whatever. I'm like, dude, this guy needs a hug. So I'm like, hey, sorry, sir, being inconvenient. Just want to let you know we do this on Sundays and I'm getting all the youth off the video games and off the couches and out of the houses and away from gang activity. Just trying to give these little kids like somebody to look up to and something positive to stay out of trouble. I just want them to be able to like have a something to look forward to or you know staying off the drugs, staying out of gangs, staying off of whatever like stealing or breaking into cars like giving these kids something else to do is like so important to me. The youth gets on the bike and they take off riding and they got one thing in their mind they want to ride the bike. It's not really the bike it's what they found for themselves and the bike just happens to be part of it. The more um, what they call kind of low stress separated facilities and trails that we can create throughout the city, uh, the better. At the end of the day, I just want a peaceful ride to get a taco or have a beer. Like, and I think that's, that's what's gonna be, like that's what's gonna get more people on bikes, right? Is like being out of traffic and being separated. And just to bring it all back full circle, I think that's why you get these big giant group rides because if you can't feel safe out there by yourself or with your, your children or with your partner or your family or whatever, your friends, like riding with 200 people is gonna feel a lot safer than just being alone on a road where you do not otherwise feel welcome on a bike. Having the freedom to move safely and free from harm in your community in the way that like you choose to do, that should be something that everyone has a right to do.